Well, good day, Tubes. Uh, well, we've got the uh, five horse Tecumseh snowblower running good now. We uh, built that new throttle lever, did the valve grind, and a few other small items. So now we're, we've got essentially just a, an old five horse Tecumseh snowblower that needs a tune up. So we're going to start with the belts and uh, then we'll, we'll work our way around to lubrication lubrication on the chassis, excuse me, and we'll change the oil, etc, etc. So this is the first uh, thing I do uh, on a snowblower tune-up. Now right here we're going to inspect the belts and I use the inside of that pulley right there the idler pulley that pushes the belt in and that allows you to have a look at the splits on the belt. I've put a, a, a mark on the belt with a felt pen so I know when I've gone around and we're going to just pull this over right there. You see that? There's a chunk starting to come off there. So that belt needs to be replaced. Plus there's lots of little mini cracks inside there. The other one, now I'll engage the, uh, the idler pulley. See that? I have the spark plug disconnected by the way. There's a little mark there, but that's not that's that's not where, that's just a tiny piece of rubber that's come off. It's not cracked. Very few minor cracks. Oh, yeah, there we go. I guess we're starting to get to the point where we're going to need a new belt there. Missed that. Okay, tubes. Got an interesting issue here. This is the drive uh, wheel. Right there, and it is really, really loose. It's kind of like a record player. The closer you get to the inside of the disc, the less the less distance it's traveled. So it's like your first gear, and as you move out, it moves faster and faster and faster. Over to here, I guess. Moves out, it moves faster and faster and faster. So then that's like second, third, fourth gear. But this has a broken bushing on it sticking right through uh, the plate. Now if I can get the light in there we'll have a look around the other side and it's right down in there there's a cracked weld. I don't know if you can see that but right down in there we're going to take this snowblower off the stand put it on the ground and crack it in half which is not a big deal, it's just four bolts on the housing and I'm going to see if I can do a, a 6011 weld on that bushing it's already broke so we can't break it so anyway we'll have this baby apart in no time I just have to take off four bolts just like that one there one, two, three is off and four down at the other side. Perfect. Well, the sad part is I have to work on the ground. Okay, now I'm taking the last bolt off that holds the snowmobile together. And uh, there it goes. Yay! Now you can see how bad that is. We're going to take this pulley off and uh, we'll weld that bushing. 
One more. look okay tubes we took the pulley off of here and if you look really close right there that's where she's broken all the way around so we're just going to re-weld that I am going to weld all the way around this bushing I've cleaned it with a solvent and a wire brush. I'm going to make sure it's flush like that and I'll tack it and then I will try and, and like I say go all the way around. I'm going to run a practice scratch across here just to make sure I've got the right heat setting on my rods. <clears throat> this is an AC weld 330 seconds uh, at about 110 amps and we'll try that. all that tubes? I hope so. It's pretty nasty looking well but the positioning was pretty rough. Okay tubes, I've used some snowmobile grease and I've greased all of the uh, chains, bushings, a very small amount on the slider and then I took some gas and I cleaned off this, the wheel and the friction disc. So we should be good. And now we're going to put the belt on the, on the drive front. Okay, we've, we put the drive belt on first, right there, and now we're going to slip the two halves together again, and I'm going to attach the top bolts once I get it together. I've started the belt, it might help, it might not, and uh, let's do this. Alright tubes, we're almost there. Um, I'm just greasing all the points again 
there's quite a few. I just did um, here and here on the end bushings. And now, for fun, right there, this is the uh, oil chamber for the work front worm gear. And I'm just going to pump a little bit of snowmobile grease into here. Just because the seals get old. And snowmobile grease stays liquid in the winter. And on our belt drives, we have our belts on. Looks like they line up the same with, you'll see that this uh, idler gear right here is polished on the left side, and it's still gonna stay that way. But we are there. All I have to do now is reconnect the spark plug. Right there. Start it up. Make sure that everything's going up and down and round and round. Okay, now we're doing the easy things. Changing the oil. And that is all that's left. I use a narrow spout funnel on that, by the way. So, you've seen it all here on VTH V1 TV. We um, did a scary thing and we welded that bushing was the biggest thing, I think, on that. And then two belt replacements. We welded a new throttle arm, which I'm going to paint gray right now. So she's ready to button up just this pulley cover. I like that. There we go. Pulley cover. Huh? So I'm pretty proud of this job. Hopefully the customer enjoys it. A neighbor of a friend. I think it would have been easier for me to have just shoveled the sidewalks for the winter. <laughs>